This video is just to demonstrate the new dissolve effect that we're uh, adding into Vixen 3.5 update 3. As you can see up here it's uh, the dissolve which is in the uh, the basic lighting effect. Uh, so by default if we just grab that and um, click that over to the timeline I'll put it on my house with uh, Megatree and you can see there it starts off uh, density of full lights on down to no lights and it just at the moment randomly uh, selects the lights to turn off based on the curve so you know obviously we can adjust that curve and you see um, as soon as you start the effect that the lights will dramatically drop off and then slowly get rid of the rest uh, I'll just delete that one there I've just um, added a few in here just to demonstrate different ways that uh, you can use this effect um, works really well as a, a layering effect which uh, I'll show you later uh, first off I'll just show you this one here which is basically um, just dissolves from full lights down to down to no lights um, as you can see I've just got a couple of colors in there the group level up here is just like the alternating effect where um, basically the, it groups the, the pixels uh, or nodes um, so if I change that to say 10 each 10 uh, nodes will be that color the next 10 will be that color or, or randomly a group of 10 um, now it says you can see there you can see just uh, lines um, just drop that back down or single one uh, now you've also got uh, random color order so it just randomly selects out of the colors you've got here uh, to the to the individual nodes so if we tick that off um, it might be hard to see but um, what you will see is uh, something in order um, and it will just go the blue yellow blue yellow blue yellow sequentially all right so it's just um just basic basic one if you move on to say uh, if I have a look at the mega tree um, this is where I've set up uh, a group level of 70 so as you can see there my mega tree height is 70 pixels so as you can see each row is the the different color and I've got random off so it's basically going white red white red uh, sorry white red blue white red blue uh, if you tick random um, as you can see it's now random I've got like you know white white blue blue um, and also the reason why it's moving in and out basically you can see it starts in the middle here because I've got the starting node at two, uh, 1200 and then a group level of 70 so 70 high so obviously I can put that back down to 1 and you can see there it's just um, individual pixels random color they random off and you can see a nice um, alternating pattern there between the three of them uh, also if I drop that back down to the starting node of one it obviously starts from the left and sweeps across um, the flip dissolve flip we'll just flip it across to the other side obviously you can also change the, the density I'll flip the density up um, and then it has a, a different effect as well not so much on this one but uh, in other areas for layering it does uh, so that's that effect there um, as you'll see up here the timing source you can uh, use the mark collections as well uh, just like some of the other effects so if you have a look at this one for example over here I've got a text effect which is just uh, Merry Christmas to all um, basically by itself uh, you won't see it at the moment because the default lays intensity so I'll just change that back to default and that's basically all it is is the text effect all right single color because the way I've got the layering here the colors is actually derived from the dissolve effect so what I'll do there is I'll change that back to uh, intensity layer and we'll look at both of them I'll just uh, zoom in a bit and you'll see there that now the uh, the words are dissolving based on the, the marks and each word is being displayed based on each mark it's just switching it over um, so that's a pretty neat effect dissolving plus the colors that are within the uh, the um, dissolve effect <coughs> once again you, you can change group level you know, random dissolve that sort of stuff um, by itself that's the effect by itself so you know it doesn't look anything fancy at all but because it's used in the layering I highlight those two it actually looks quite good uh, going the other way around um, obviously that's where I've got um, in 
intensity layer for the text and just default layer for the for the um, dissolve effect. If I come over here, I've got the text in the default layer, and then this time the dissolve in the mask. So the mask just needs the one colour. Um, that's irrelevant because it's just the mask. Um, and then the, the text I obviously got the three color uh, sorry yeah three colors there so now when I watch the both of them it's using the text color and then dissolving each word um, obviously this dissolve effect uh, looks quite good with uh, pictures as well uh, I haven't set one up but um, basically you can just dissolve that picture away or fill in the picture starting at nothing and then the picture fills in uh, with the random pixels um, so another one I've got here is um, on my windows so I just zoom out I've got a couple of windows here with lights on um, and basically if I highlight those four you can see there that each mark um, basically I've got it set to mark label pixels so basically it's looking at the label and for this mark it's um, putting 5 pixels on then the next mark it's 10 pixels in total 15 and then 20 pixels so as you can see you can um, increase it by just say these were beats uh, beats of the music a bit like um, vertical meter or something but uh, you can obviously make this uh, extremely accurately uh, manually um, I'll just add another um, dissolve effect over to here. I'll stretch that out because now you can also select mark collection. We'll do default marks, which are the white ones, and this time we'll use the, the mark label percentages. So basically, 20% of the lights will be on uh, during this um, mark length and then 40% of the lights, 60% of the lights, 80% of the lights. So you've got two different options there. You can use the labels as a percentage or a labels as pixels. Um, so if we zoom back out, um, depending on what you want to do, once again you can use that to the beats or, or whatever. Um, so, but if you want it per mark, uh, select per mark, then the actual density curve is per mark, so in between the two marks so each mark is going to be the same. Um, just another another effect you can do there, and that's probably about it. As you can see, it's uh, got quite a few features there, and um, it basically uh, expands the use of all the other effects by using layering. Thank you.